Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp sets Peaceful Moment and Painted Poppies. In Peaceful Moments I just used the word congratulations and the dies, uh, the big poppy, both of them, and both the little poppies. Oh, and this one. This I'll get it out. This one. And in painted poppies, I just used the leaf, oh, which I've taken out, that leaf. And I need this die. I'm going to cut it out. Dies, I've used the uh, nested label dies. And I use the second largest one. Cardstock. I've got a crumb cake. I know Fifi don't like crumb cake, but I'm using it today. Of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. A piece of white cardstock for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And a piece of crumb cake at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I've already cut out using that flower die. As you can see I used it twice and that will sit on top of the um, card base. I've already cut out the triangle, uh, the triangle, the stitch labels because this size won't go through my little Sizzix sidekick so I had to cut it out on the big shot and that will sit up there All right, the top of the flowers I've already cut out now I didn't cut them out for this card I cut them out I made a a banner for V Day and I put poppies all over it but I changed my mind on the white and did it in darker red cherry cobbler anyway these were what left over and I thought I'd use them rather than cut out some more on this one for the coloured poppy I used paper and I used the lily pad paper that was free with celebration and I used this one on this card and this time I'm going to use the flirty flamingo one it's that on the back and I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo one. So I've got that. I've got a scrap of Flirty Flamingo for the sentiment. And I have some Old Olive for the leaves. I want three leaves. I have cut out two, but I'll do some more. So to get started we will cut out these flowers, which I never got the die out of. No, wrong one, this one. So we need that plain one and that plain one. And we need my mats and my Sizzix side pick. Right. Oh, that's for the inside. Put that over there. And grab my paper. Now I'm going to have to cut this to get it in the machine. That. that just fits on there. So let's cut this. On there, Good one. put it top on, and we'll cut that out. And then we have our flower base, that's scrap, 
and we'll do the same for the smaller flower. Our smaller flower. Bin. Keep them. I'll keep that near because I want it for the leaves. Don't need that. Right. We'll stamp the leaves next so that we can um, cut them out. So I've got some old olive cardstock, old olive ink. And I just stamp three leaves. Get my cloth out so I can clean the leaf. And put it away. Put that away, we don't need that. Bring back this, and what did I do with the leaf? Die. Here it is. Place that on there, like that. Tape it on. And cut it out. And there's our little leaf. Right, I should do another one. Don't really need four, but I'll cut it out anyway. So place it on there, tape it down. Tell you what, this little machine has come is you know it's really handy. Saves me lifting up the big shot just for Little leaves, there's another one. Might as well do the third one while I'm here. Can always go in my maybe one day box. Tell you the truth, I did look in there when I made this card to see if there was any leaves in there. But there was none like this. In and that can go in the box, they can go away, and so can that. So, next bit of stamping is the congratulations. So, I've got my VersaFine ink. word congratulations and we're just going to stamp that anywhere on here there we are because we're just going to cut it out right. clean and put away right with our paper snips all I'm going to do is just follow the word round moving the card and just going you know making a wavy motion so it's not straight Nothing worse than keeping it straight. And it isn't straight, if you know what I mean. But 
hope you're all keeping well. Surviving the lockdown. Mind you, by the time you see this, it might be relaxed a bit. I doubt it. We're on week six here in the UK. And there's my word, congratulations. Alright, so that in a bit. Next we want to stick these on. These. So that one will go on like that. And this one will go on like... That. So, get our glue out. And just put spots of glue on the edge. And glue that onto the one quite a nice colour that I like that I didn't want to do it red because this paper on the back of it is red, real red, blackberry bliss, Bermuda Bay, which that one is, and Flirty Flamingo. And then there's a mixture of colours. Right, that one goes. Hmm. Got how it goes on now that way. our flowers done. Right, I'm going to stick this on the card. Place that evenly on the card. And then this we put over the top of it like that. That goes on dimensionals. the back off. So 
and place that just there. And these will sit like that. I know what I haven't cut out. I'll do it in a minute. Let's do it now. Right, we need these tiny bits for the middle of the flowers. And I just threw that paper away. And that's what that was for. So, bring my machine back and my plates. These on our flowers. Oops, this one goes on here. Like that, and then this one. Goes there. So we'll glue these down, so we'll glue this one first. with the leaves I've done with the others blossom leaves are we'll glue these right this one we'll go under the big one there to put on another one down here tiny dimensionals
like that there, that's it. Right, we need to put dimensionals on half of this, on the half that's hanging over, so there. That's all right, we'll just cut two bits of this. Might only need one bit. Off of that, she says, got easier said than done, and put a bit of glue on this bit. And we'll pop that right straight like that. And that is our card. What we need to do is just pop the white bit. I am not putting anything on it because you can write your own message. Depends what you're congratulating the person for. there we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Oh, I know what I forgot. Some gems. So, I'm going to put one there and one up here and I'm going to put one there. There we are. That's it done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And don't forget to press the like button as well. If you want to be notified, press the icon button. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.